What is up guys, Grenady here, welcome to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to edit a normal commentary. So I don't think I've done this before but if I have this is a new refresh and better quality much more in depth and whatnot. So let's get right into the video. So step one is basically figuring out what you're going to talk about, find the key points you're going to mention and blah 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 or you just you know you wing it right and you record your commentary. So um, the program I use to record my audio is Audacity. You just download it, you plug in your mic, it picks up what you're using and then you just hit this like red button here and it just starts recording magically, right? Like these little midgets inside your computer start like recording what you say. And then you go, uh, you stop the recording, file, export, you type your thing and then you're done. So after you get your audio, you want to get some gameplay or you want to get some footage of whatever you want to use. So I'm going to get some footage from Battlefield, Call of Duty, just whatever I want to. So for this example, I'm going to go get some gameplay from Battlefield. Um, let's just pretend I clicked on Battlefield. I ran it. I recorded it. And now I have the gameplay. So here is the gameplay. So all this is just basically gameplay, right? Now that you have gameplay, you want to get an intro or an outro. If you don't have any of those, you don't necessarily need these things, but they do make your channel and videos look a bit more professional and makes it look like you actually give a shit about your videos. But then again, there's some good channels out there that don't require a uh, an intro. So let's pretend we got all this out of the way now. And now you have your intro, your outro, your commentary and your footage. Um, what you can add to this is basically music. Um, I recommend um, Chuki, Mu Chuki Beats or something like that, but I've used his music in the past and currently still am using his music. It, it's the best. It, it's just basically instrumentals of just like rap, trap, and everything that you can think of, and it's very, very cool. I'll leave his channel down in the description down below. So now we have music, we have gameplay, audio, everything that we need, and now let's just open up our editing program. I'll be using Sony Vegas, but if you haven't really noticed yet, almost every editing software is the same. Maybe not exactly identical, but the same process as in every as in every editing software has a timeline. Every editing software has this little cursor and it's just basically the same concept. So um, if you use something else like Camtasia or whatever, it's kind of the same thing, but just a little difference. There's a difference between how you do stuff. So um, let's import the media here real quick. I'm going to import um, the um, this clip here, the desktop thing. And these are pretty long. I think that match was about an hour long. And I don't want to post that because that's too long. But I'm just going to um, import this. As you can see at the bottom here, it's building the peaks for it. Basically, it's um, it's getting the audio from the gameplay and putting it in that. So as this loads, we probably should import everything else as well. As far as music and everything else is concerned, I have an intro here. I have a, um, a like um, animation. I have a subscribe animation um, right here. And I have a Twitter one, but I don't really use it that much because, you know, fuck Twitter. And um, as far as music goes, again, I have all these songs from um, Chuki Productions. He is a very cool guy. Um, he, Chuki Hip Hop, hell yeah, that's my shit. All right, so <laughs> um, let's just start by importing all this stuff. So I actually don't have anything like I don't have a commentary pre-recorded, but I'm just showing you an example if I were to have a an audio clip. So um, you'll see what I'm talking about once I start editing. So. First of all, we want to drag the gameplay in first and it's going to ask you if you want to match the production settings to the gameplay. You always want to hit yes because that way um, 
if your gameplay is 60 frames per second when you render it's going to be at 60 frames per second or if your gameplay is at 30 frames it will render at 30 frames because if you render at 60 but your gameplay is at 30 you're going to get a lot of ghosting and it's not going to look good so this is a long ass gameplay it's 13 minutes so i'm probably going to cut down on it and the first thing that i do is that i kind of move this to the right like that um and just kind of get it away from this um the beginning points and i do this so that i have space to edit and then i just hit Control a or i select everything and then just bump it to the front so you'll see what i'm talking about in a minute so we have the gameplay the intro is coming up right here and i put that at the beginning and we're gonna pretend that this song is actually a commentary and it's actually me talking so um here is the audio of my voice we're pretending here again and um, you can add music to it by putting that at the bottom but let's um, dial it back here and start editing so um, when your intro starts it should start from the beginning which is here your intro BAM now do you see this like just nasty just straight up just I don't know it's too abrupt the transition here is too abrupt and so what I'm gonna do is that um, since my out my intro has an outro so as you can see these things fade out I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm gonna fade this out but at the same time fade the gameplay in <clears throat> and then a problem I have with my intro is that the audio is too loud and so what I do is I get I grab this little grabber here which is basically the gain and I bring it down to the middle to where I see these audio waves come down so as you can see this is how it used to be and I bring it down to that so that way you can hear it and it's not overwhelmingly loud so that is that um, in other editing programs I believe this is basically just dialing down the audio but I want to leave this alone and I want to just individually just this single clip here since my intro is the only thing that is that loud I don't know why I think I just edited just didn't do it right the first time and so now as punishment every time I edit I have to lower the audio down so um, that's done as you can see if we go frame by frame here it's gonna come up and it's going to fade out and it's going to fade in this other gameplay and boom it looks way much better you can't really tell when you're watching the video but if you don't put it in there you can definitely tell that it just kind of snaps to the next clip so now that we have this smooth transition transition here excuse me um, we can start um, putting in the commentary so what I do with my commentaries is that I fade in the first couple of seconds and I put it just a little bit in front of the snap. So as you can see, it snaps to here, but I start talking over here. But uh, again, just personal preference. So if you want to just snap it here, you snap it there. It's whatever, you know, it doesn't really matter that much. So once you have it in there, you're talking, the gameplay is going on. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so now this is not required, but I have this um, just laying around and I always use these to kind of give a little bit of pizzazz to my videos. I'll make a separate tutorial on how to make these, but these are transitions or not transition animations. And these basically come up during my video and they just pop out from the side and it says if you haven't yet subscribe right and so what I do is that I put these um, just back to back and it's one that says subscribe and one that says like so um, the problem with this um, that I didn't really realize until the end when I was done making these is that they're way they're too high up for my taste and so what I do is I go to the crop and pan and I bring it down like that so as you can see it's much lower but um, instead of doing that every single time uh, the cool thing about Sony Vegas is that you can make a preset so as you can see I have this that says low, lower third and it's right there and so I just click that and it puts it exactly where I left it last time and you can do that and you just hit you just hit save preset and then you can do that to this one as well um, you go down to lower third you just exit out so 
you're probably asking yourself how do I get rid of this nasty green thing so when I made these I made damn sure that these colors were absolutely different so the red and green are completely different so that way when I go to my video effects and I go to color keyer right color keyer and I click on the subscribe preset I just drag that on over to that and as you can see there's no more green so um, if you don't have a preset which most of you probably won't have um, you're gonna have to do this manually you're gonna have to grab the green screen which is a basic preset that is in Sony Vegas or if you don't have that and you just for example in Camtasia you have this ability to do this but you have to do it a whole different way so I'm gonna do it just a whole different way method so let's pretend you just drag the chroma key and nothing has changed yet because you haven't really told the program what color you want to disappear now most programs have this dropper so if you have the dropper just click on the green it should be gone but if you do not have the dropper you're gonna have to um, just kinda guesstimate here and just kind of click around until um, the gameplay is visible and you don't see that green stuff once you have this if you are able to um, name it something and save it right so that way you all you have to do is just drag and drop and so once that's there um, move on to the next one and this one is a little bit different because you can't really do a green screen for this green um, animation because it'll take out the green so for example you drag out you drag out the green screen and you put it on that it's gonna make um, the animation transparent and you don't want that so you're gonna have to do a different thing which is basically get the default drag it on there and pick um, the blue that actually makes it disappear so you just kinda have to like play around with the blues and find a blue that um, gets rid of that and you can um, grab the little um, dropper thing and just click on the blue and it goes away and I clicked on the blue that's down here on the timeline um, to make sure it's the right blue now again I have a preset for this so I'm just gonna drag the like um, chroma key and put it in on top of that as far as thresholds go um, this you can basically just mess around with until you get it just right so as you can see this like transition preset already has the low threshold where I want it and the high threshold where I want it and it's basically perfect so these two sliders here the low threshold and the high threshold are the ones you need to play around with to make sure you get the best um, chroma key now god it's a lot of talking but now that we have this out of the way um, I'm gonna cut down on uh, the gameplay because this happens a lot to me it happens a lot I record for way too long and I forget that my commentary is just a couple of minutes long so for example this um, gameplay is way too long so just drag it on uh, drag it down and just kinda cut it to where you stop talking which is like around there um, what I usually do like maybe at this end of the clip by this time I'm probably saying thank you for watching guys blah 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 peace out right and so what I like to do just to make it a little bit more professional I keep the gameplay a little bit ahead and then I just fade it out like so and I slowly push it back until I get this effect to where when I'm um, doing my outro the gameplay slowly fades away and the video ends and I don't know I just like the way that looks it's professional and I just like the way it looks and um, beyond that if you have an outro just let's pretend this intro is an outro just drag it at the end and do what we did at the beginning and fade the gameplay out and fade the the outro in and that way it fades out and fades in like that and I don't have an outro so I'm just gonna leave it like this and so this is basically it now um, again we pretended that this blue audio wave it was my commentary so what if we want music well all you have to do is drag it under every under everything because this is the bottom of the um, timeline you want the music to be at the bottom of the timeline 
and what you do is that you just basically you plug in your headphones because don't do this through your speakers I repeat don't do this through your speakers because I've done the mistake of doing of listening to the music and the gameplay through my speakers on my TV and when I post it and people use their headphones the music is too loud and overpowering and they can't really hear what you're saying so plug in your headphones it takes like a fraction of a second to just get the timing and the the how how you want the music to be right so um, you basically just turn down the the music until you barely hear it you barely want to hear the music you want the music to be background music you don't want it to be music you want the music to just softly play in the background if you decide to put any music in there so um, as far as music goes you don't have to fade it in but it does sound a little bit better when you do fade it in and fade it out and if your gameplay is long and you need more music and you need to loop the music the way you do that is that you basically drag the music down over here fade it in and fade it out again and let's say your your gameplay here is super long maybe it's like this long and you still have more to go so what I do is I click on the music and I hold shift and I select both and I hit control C or right click copy and right click paste and you just drag it like so and you can go as far as you want with the music so that is what you do as far as music is concerned and that is pretty much it guys there's not much to making a commentary if once you know how to do these it just comes naturally and you can whip these out in like a 30 minutes or an hour tops and then you just select everything and you just bump it to the front and as you can see this commentary is about four minutes long and it's just a commentary and again you go to um, render as and you render it and if you did what I told you at the beginning it should render automatically to 60 frames per second and whatnot so that is pretty much it guys thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video or have any questions leave a comment down below like subscribe and all that good stuff you guys know what to do this is Grenader signing off peace